there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to be journaling from 2 Corinthians. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. And before I get into the why I chose this verse, I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm doing. With the word comfort in here so many times, the thing that makes me think comfort is soup. Soup is a very comforting thing, and I thought that would be a great way to create a simple image that also allows for some interesting journaling. So I'm doing an overhead view of the soup bowl, which I used a couple rolls of tape to make those concentric circles. You could also use cups or bowls or something from the kitchen to make those and then drew a soup handle or a spoon handle sticking out of the soup and then I'm just going to paint it. I'm going to paint vegetable soup so I'll do reds and oranges to do that and I'm using my Gansai Tambi watercolors. There's lots of people who don't like to use things like the Daniel Smith watercolors that I normally use because you don't want to have to get a palette and all that sort of thing so this is one of those sets that's self-contained. You can get them in fewer colors than this. This is the, I believe, the 24 color set. And it really depends on what, how many colors you actually feel like you need in your watercoloring and your Bible journaling. But it's got nice big wells for a big fat brush like this. So I do like these watercolors. And I'm using the paint relatively thin. I'm going to do a second layer in a little bit to intensify the color once I've done with this. But it really depends on how how much color you want on there and you can continue to add more color to it. See how heavy this can go on. It can become thick enough you can't read the words so I'm going to be careful to make sure that I spread that out with enough water so that the words are still readable on my page when I'm all finished. But one of the reasons I want really intense color on the bowl of soup is that my lettering is going to be alphabet soup lettering floating on the surface of the bowl. So I thought that would be kind of a fun way to do a Bible journaling page. Now for the why, why I chose this verse. In the month of May in the Facebook group, I've been encouraging people to do Bible journaling pages about the places in your life that you're made new. And this is all about one of those areas in my life, which is I've always suffered from depression, just off and on throughout my whole life. It's been a struggle. And what I have discovered is that when I can give the comfort that God gives me to someone else, even while I'm in the midst of discomfort and I'm in the midst of depression, especially when I'm in the midst of depression, that often lifts it when I'm helping someone else. And I have, have really learned that when I need cheered up, I need to not just sit on the sofa and stare at the ceiling and eat ice cream. I need to get out of my comfort zone and go out and help someone else. That in general will break off that spirit of depression because that's usually a time when I'm thinking about me and I'm focused on me and I'm focused on what I need and what I feel and what someone else did or said or why I'm sad or whatever is going on in my life at the time. And the instant I take my attention off of me and what I'm going through and put it on helping someone else, serving someone, or or whatever that might be. It just makes everything better. I've also found that the areas where I am most effective in ministry, and I hope you would find the same, is when there are pain points in your life, if you serve in a ministry to people who are going through that same kind of a thing, most often you are the biggest help to them. It's easiest for me to talk about depression with someone who ha has already experienced it than someone who has not. And whatever challenges you've been through in your life, when you come through them, you can offer someone advice from having been there. You're not just a person who's going to give them what can seem like platitudes because you're giving them real life experience. You're giving them some, some truth bombs that that come from experience rather than coming from your head or from reading a book about it. 
And uh, let's see, get back to the Bible journaling page. This was really wet and I didn't want to put a piece of paper over top of this first before I ironed it. So I'm hovering my iron over top of it instead of using a heat gun on it. I don't want to use a heat gun on my Bible because it'll potentially make a crinkly mess out of the whole thing, but hovering the iron can dry it enough that then I can put a sheet of paper over top of it and iron it and then the whole thing is much flatter and I can continue to work on it and put more layers of color on it, add more details to it and that sort of thing. You probably also noticed when I wanted to get the color, that green color into the crack of the book down into the, the middle there, I just put a sheet of paper covering the left side and then I could paint right up to that and get the paint on the paper without spreading it onto the opposite page. So here I'm adding another layer of color over the whole thing in order to intensify it because I wanted to make sure that my alphabet soup becomes really readable and I'm being careful to make sure that I'm doing it in layers because then I can tell when the paint gets thick enough that maybe the words become less readable and you maybe can't tell right here on screen because watching on video is not always like watching in real life but I can still read all the words just fine through this watercolor. It also doesn't go through the back. There's only one brand of watercolor, well, I should say two brands of watercolor that I found that do go through. One is Peerless and the other was one of the dollar store type brands. I don't remember exactly what it was but I was very shocked that it went through because I thought the cheaper something is the less it should go through because it should have less power to it, right? Not so. So always test out whatever new watercolor brands you might get and see what bleeds through. So I first in pencil took my letters and kind of wrote them kitty wampus all over the place in order to make it look like they're letters that are just floating on the top of the soup. And I'm using a white gel pen to actually write the letters out. The fun about something like this is that since the letters are all kitty wampus anyway, you don't have to worry about being straight and perfect with your lettering. You just need the words grouped together enough that it reads when you turn to the page. So don't make them spread out far enough that, they, that you can't see them and you can't understand what the words are that you were trying to say. And you can also, even though the uh, vegetable soup does not include punctuation. I don't think it does. You can add punctuation to it to make it work for what you're creating. So this kind of a soup idea can work for a lot of different things throughout scripture. So you're welcome to use this idea any old way you like. If you do use the idea, I would love it if you'd come to the Facebook group and share that with me. I'd love to see what you've made as well as the ladies and and there might be some gentlemen in there by now, uh, but the Bible journalers in that Facebook group love to learn from each other. We share what our page was about with each other. So we learn a little bit about each person and where they're at and what the Lord is saying to them. And different people are sharing what they're creating in their Bible journaling journey as they go. So you're welcome to do that with us. I added a few little hearts to add a little bit of random interest in some of the rest of the soup, but I kept the letters off of the Bible text, so those will still be readable. And there we go. So next month we're going to have a new theme. You can sign up for my email list in order to find out what that theme is, or else I will tell you next week when I have the video ready for you next Sunday. See so y'all take care, and I'll see you later. God bless you very much. Bye-bye.